Josh, you're drinking coffee? It's almost 8 o'clock. Don't worry, dude. It's decaf. You know what? Could you imagine a world without decaf coffee? Hmm. Man, it's a good thing chemical engineers figured that one out. Chemical engineers play a vital role in bringing many of the products that you might not expect to market. And one of those being coffee, especially decaffeinated coffee. And that's what we're going to take a look at. The process of how chemical engineers made it possible to bring decaffeinated coffee to you. There are several methods for removing caffeine from coffee. The one we will be looking at is through direct extraction. This uses a solvent, ethyl acetate, to remove the caffeine from the coffee beans. It's considered natural because the solvent, ethyl acetate, is found readily in nature. The first part of the process is to treat the raw beans with steam and water. This is to open up the pores of the coffee beans so that proper caffeine extraction can happen. They are treated with steam and water for about 30 minutes and then sent into the extractor. Now that the beans have been sent into the extractor, it's treated with the solvent, ethyl acetate, for about 10 hours. This is when the caffeine is actually removed. Ethyl acetate is a selective solvent, which means it removes only one compound, in this case the caffeine, and leaves behind all the other molecules responsible for color, aroma, and flavor. The ethyl acetate and caffeine solution is then removed from the extractor and then the beans are steamed to remove any of the remaining solvent. In another step of the process, the ethyl acetate is removed from the caffeine by evaporation. This so that the ethyl acetate solvent can be reused in the extractor to remove caffeine from more beans. Now that the process is complete, the caffeine has been removed and the coffee beans leaving the process are ready to be roasted, brewed, and enjoyed. As a chemical engineer working on this process, it is our job to choose the correct equipment and then to maintain process conditions such as temperature and pressure in order to create a product that meets the customer's expectations. One of the most important jobs as a chemical engineer, whether we are designing or operating a process, is to take safety into account. The number one goal for engineering safety is that everyone makes it back home after a hard day's work, and this can only be achieved by knowing what you're working with and preparing for the worst case scenario. For example, the solvent that we use, ethyl acetate, is flammable. It's the job of chemical engineers to design a process that minimizes the chance of leaks or escapes that could lead to a fire or an explosion. Next time you enjoy a hot cup of decaffeinated coffee, just remember that this wouldn't be possible without the hard work of chemical engineers. And we challenge you to check out what a degree in chemical engineering has to offer.